Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to start off the face with some Fenty Beauty Primer and then going in with my broken bottle of Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 330 and I'm just going to work that into the skin with a damp beauty blender. Once I've gone over the face with a layer of foundation, I like to go in with a dense brush and just focus the foundation on top of any blemishes. After the final blend through with the Beauty Blender, I'm just going to highlight my face using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Peach. So just going under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the forehead and a bit on the chin as well. Now I'm going to set under my eyes with the Cover FX Translucent Loose Powder and I'm not leaving this on for too long and once I feel like it's set into my skin I'll just wipe it away with the Beauty Blender. Time to contour my nose now. I've done a full in-depth nose contouring video on my channel so you can check that out if you like a little bit more detail but I'm just going in with this brown shade from the AC Ontour Contouring Highlighting Palette. My gosh that's always such a mouthful and um, I'm using the Morphe brush set that comes for nose contouring. Warming up my face now with a little bit of MAC Gimme Sun Bronzer. I don't like to contour my face too much because I don't think that it looks that natural or it doesn't look good on me at least. So just dusting that just to give me a nice glow. And just giving my cheeks a nice pink flush with this blush from Astralis. Moving on to the lids, I'm just priming my eyes with this Too Faced Shadow Insurance and then I'm going to set everything with this shade called Cashmere from the Tartlet Toasted. Then I'm going into the shade called Latte from the same palette and just buffing that into the crease with a fluffy brush. For the lid colour, I'm going in with the Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Jazubal. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I'm applying it with my finger. I found that's the most easiest way to apply this product. And I like to fix up the edges with um, like a flat shader brush. And with that brush, I like to bring the colour just above my crease line as well, just to make it look like I have bigger eyes or more lid space. And then I go back with my fluffy, fluffy, fluffy brush just to blend everything seamlessly. Doing a cat eye wing here with my Tarte Liquid Eyeliner in black. And it's the first time I've used this product. I like it, it's easy to use, but it's probably not the blackest liner I've ever used. Now I'm just going to deepen the outer corner of my eye with this burgundy shade from the Carly Bible palette and I like to use a pencil brush just to sketch it in because I find fluffy brushes really hard to control or any brushes larger than a pencil brush and I also drag that colour just in my crease line in it as well and then I buff everything out with my fluffy brush so there's no harsh edges. I really find that using the pencil brush is my cheat way to get that perfect outer corner. And now I'm also going to run that burgundy shade down my lower lash line just to tie the whole look together. Going in with some mascara to my upper and lower lash lines. This is just the Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And then, of course, applying some falsies. These are the Kiss Lashes in the style Baudoir. And I absolutely love them. I think they're like fluffy and dense, but not like crazy. Lining my lips with this pink lip liner here. And then going with my current absolute favorite liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the shade Catherine. And I just, I absolutely love it. I don't know. I think dark lip colors just give that badass vibe and that's what I'm into at the moment. After I stop admiring my lip color, I'm going to pop some highlight on and this is like the rose gold shade from the Kali Bible palette. Finishing everything off and setting everything with my Mecca Perfecting Face Mist. And then just touching up my curls, getting ready to take some Instagram baddie pics. 
I don't know what just happened to me there but if you enjoyed this video then please uh, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!